I honestly never thought I'd be making this video. Like, really, that's not an exaggeration. Ever since I made the Super Mario Logan video, I got constant requests to talk about FGTV. Every comment section, talk about FGTV. Every live stream, talk about FGTV. On Twitter, on Discord, talk about FGTV. But why? Talk about FGTV. And if there's something you should know about me, it's that if I'm asked to do something, it makes me not want to do it. Of course it's not only that. I mean, I did the Futures to Cub video as a request and I ended up having a lot of fun with it, but from an outsider's perspective there really doesn't seem like there's that much wrong with this channel. Prior to the requests, I had seen my younger cousin watching their videos on his iPad, and they were exactly what I expected a little kid to find enjoyment from. Okay, get, get back here, Metal Sonic! I'll blast you with you You want to miss around? Mindless screaming and shouting over top of a popular game? <laughs> I knew the trick! I found Fuck this fucking trick! I didn't I read it on my own! Ah, hypocrisy. But the more I was told about it, the more inclined I was to start looking into it. Some people were telling me it was as bad as Daddy 5 Well, shit, I better look into this. FGTV, which stands for the Family Gaming Team. No, I don't know where the extra E and V come from. It's a gaming channel with nearly 9 million subscribers. They usually only play trending games like Fortnite, Five Nights at Freddy's, Roblox, Bendy, you know, the shit little kids like. There's nothing wrong with this of course, other than the thumbnails and titles being extremely clickbaity. But I get it, you gotta get the kids attention somehow. This is the part where I would read out one of the titles to prove my point but literally every single one of their videos is like this. <laughs> Fuck it. Playing Fortnite AND Roblox at the same time? FGTV Scary Elevator Monster Mashup with Bendy, FNAF, Neighbor. That was over two lines. Over two lines. The channel stars... <sighs> Don't make me say it. <sighs> the channel stars... Duddy, aka Vincent Carter, and his wife Samantha with their four kids Lexi, Mike, Chase and Sean, who all get involved in the videos. The first thing I'm reminded of with FGTV is Super Mario Logan, but with one crucial difference. Vincent acknowledges that what he makes is for kids, but I don't know if that makes it better or worse. Logan knows that his content is targeted at young children, but avoids responsibility for the adult themes by saying, Oh, but, 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 but there's a disclaimer in the channel description. And on the other hand, we have Vincent, who never tries to pull the bullshit claim that uh, my content is actually made for adults. It's not my fault if kids watch it. On one end, it means he's being honest with the viewer, but that also means he's willingly showing this fucked up shit to kids. Come on, Mark, you can't be as bad as Logan. No, yeah, you're right, it's not. Sometimes it, uh... Just gets kinda weird. Like playing games such as Five Nights at Freddy's and Bendy and the Ink Machine. I know their fan bases nowadays are almost exclusively little kids, but they're definitely not suitable for them. He's gotten a lot of criticism for traumatizing his kids. For example, he made a video titled, My Son is Blind Due to the Eclipse. Where his son... Well, take a guess. He was crying and ranting and raving, and Vincent made a whole big deal out of it. Do this right now! Well, was it fake? Of course it was fake. No grown man would see his son get blinded, then pull out his camera to film it and put it on YouTube. But after he got a bunch of complaints, he took it down and apologized. So it's whatever. Then you've got his videos where he pulls out a fake knife and tries to slice his daughter's throat. Yes. Now there's always the possibility that this is fake. But if it is, then props to the daughter, because she's a pretty good actor for her age if that's the case. Never mind, I take it back. Then we've got the time he and his friends dressed up as clowns and came out of the backyard to scare his son. And I don't buy this one at all, so okay. Put yourself in this kid's shoes. You've just seen a few scary looking clowns come out of the bushes. What would you do? The answer is anything but stand there and look at them. Unless this kid is just a retard. And he was raised by this man, so it's entirely possible. I've seen a lot of people claim that these things traumatize the kids for life, but I don't know, they look fine to me. There's the chance that they act differently outside of their videos, but I doubt it. And even if they were traumatized, I, uh, 
I don't- I don't think I'd care. That sounds horrible, I know, but his kids are fucking assholes. They constantly run around screaming and throwing shit, even in public, and that's all down to Vincent spoiling them. Of course that doesn't excuse what he does to them, but I sure as hell would have trouble feeling any sympathy towards them for this. Honestly, the only trauma being put on these kids are having their eardrums destroyed by having to listen to his god-awful music. But even after saying all that, I still don't think his channel is awful. My biggest issue with it is that all the stars of it are unlikable assholes. And who would want to watch an unlikable prick yell for 10 minutes? He's got a couple other channels, but again, they're harmless. Nothing really to complain about. It's bad, of course, but if kids like it, then there's nothing we can do about it. In the end, it's all down to whether or not parents are willing to let their kids watch it. I got a lot of flack in my Mario Logan video for saying that I don't think it's entirely the parents' fault for their kids watching this stuff. Do I still agree with that? Eh, partially. I guess it's a case-by-case -case sort of thing. With Logan, I don't think it's entirely the parents' fault, because while it does have a bunch of adult themes and Logan says it isn't for kids, it's disguised as a kids' channel, and I don't blame a parent for thinking it was one. But FGTV isn't disguised as a kids' channel. It just is one. There is no disclaimer, there are no signs that this man knows what he makes isn't suitable for children, because most of the time, it is suitable for children. He just likes to slip in something fucked up every once in a while. I used the contact me page on his website to ask how he felt about all the criticisms, but sadly I got no response. So, Vincent, if you're watching this, which is entirely possible, I've got a question for you. Are you proud? Are you proud that you shit out this mediocre clickbaity content, exploiting your own family for views, manipulating children into watching things that they shouldn't be seeing at their age? Are you proud? Do you ever lie back at night and think, I'm proud of what I've done with my life, I feel accomplished. You don't, do you? You make me sick, sir. I can't believe nobody has ever brought any of this up before and I'm the only one. When I look up FGTV rant, there should be hundreds of thousands of videos exposing you for the horrible person you are. Because you committed the worst crime imaginable. Making mediocre gaming content on the internet. And I'm ashamed at society for not commenting on this sooner- Oh. Oh. You mean, I'm not the first person to have a video talking about this stuff, and there was literally no point in me making it because there's nothing to say that hasn't already been said a hundred times? And the people that wanted me to make this were just looking to have the same points repeated to them through an echo chamber to help reinforce their opinion? Oh, I gotta try to put a different spin on this. Yeah, so, um, now that I think about it, FGTV isn't so bad. Not just being a contrarian for the sake of having an unpopular opinion in an attempt to make you stand out, are you? <laughs> of course. Shush, get out of here. I didn't realize how much of a dead topic this was until I started doing the research for it. There's an endless sea of videos of people just shitting on this guy, and I don't want to say it's undeserved, but... It's undeserved. I've seen so many people say he's one of the worst channels on the entire website. Guys, really? This is what you would consider one of the worst channels on the entirety of YouTube. A guy playing trendy games with fairly high production values? Ah, the horror. Some of these people really don't realize that by making videos of a shitty mic and bad editing, shitting on a person for being cringy, in and of itself, is cringy. Trust me, I learned that the hard way. But seriously, some of these guys act like he killed his fucking kids. He's honestly not that bad. Definitely not on the level of someone like Daddyo5. People are just overreacting for the sake of attention. So if you were thinking about making a video on FGTV, unless you have something original that just needs to be said, don't make it. But I guess that can go for any situation, can't it? <coughs> I hope Alice Mark does a video on FGTV, no thank you. There, I made a video on FGTV. I hope you're happy. This video sucks. Make a better one that only agrees with my opinions. Okay, I do agree with everything I said. While I don't think FGTV is a good channel by any means, it just really isn't worth getting so worked up over. So Vincent, keep making what you're making. As long as you're not hurting anyone, who cares, right? But Mark, what about the kids? Fuck them. So if there's anything we've learned from this video, it's stop giving me requests on video topics that I haven't talked about to death. No, I don't want to make a video about Oaxis. Leave me alone.